Hey, Christ United Kids. I hope that you're having a great day. We are going to dig into the book of Proverbs today, and we are going to learn how we can be wise with our friendships, with our brothers and sisters, with our friends that we get to see and play with. How many of you have ever had a friend over to your house and you've had a huge argument? Or maybe you, when you were at school, you got in a huge argument with a friend of yours, and maybe it even broke out into, into you doing something that you totally regret, but more than likely, Likely, what happened is you probably said something that you shouldn't have said or something that you regretted. Well, the book of Proverbs gives us tons of wisdom from God about how we should treat our friends, how we should treat our siblings, how we should treat the people that we live with, basically how we should treat everyone. So grab your Bibles. We're going to be all over the book of Proverbs. I would love for you to find these Proverbs in your Bible and highlight them so that when you're in an argument with a friend or when you're tempted to lash out or to be upset or angry, that you can go right to Proverbs and find your highlighted Bible verses. All right. So we're going to be all over the book of Proverbs. Remember, it's in the middle of your Bible, right after the book of Psalms. We're going to start out in Proverbs 12, verse 16. It says, A fool is quick-tempered, but a wise person stays calm when insulted. How many of you have ever been insulted? How many of you have ever had someone say something ugly to you that hurt your feelings and then you immediately lashed out. Maybe you hit them, you threw something at them, you yelled or screamed at them, told them maybe you said some bad words. Guys, this proverb is telling us that we have to be super careful with our words when we have our feelings hurt because we don't want to be the fool. We don't want to have a quick, quick temper. Instead, we want to be somebody who's wise and we want to stay calm when we are insulted. Um, in Proverbs 15, chapter 1, it says, A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. And then again, in Proverbs 17, verses 27 through 26, 28, it says, Whoever restrains his words has knowledge, and he who has a cool spirit is a man of understanding. Even a fool who keeps silent is considered wise. When he closes his lips, lips he is deemed intelligent guys these verses all of them are telling us that when someone says something mean to us or hurts our feelings or someone does something mean to us we need to be quiet and that's hard isn't it what can we do to be quiet well i have a couple things that i try to do if somebody says something mean to me first i take a deep breath then in my head, I automatically start praying. I start praying for God to keep my mouth very, very quiet. And then I start praying for that person. And then that just helps me to see that God loves that person, but that he wants me to stay quiet. All right, Proverbs 11, 12 through 13 says, whoever belittles his neighbor lacks sense, but a man of understanding remains silent. Again, whoever goes about slandering reveals secrets, but he who has a trustworthy in spirit keeps things, keeps a thing covered. Guys, this is teaching us that a good friend um, shows us how to love our enemies, um, to pray for those who persecute us. And we talked about that with David and Saul. We are not supposed to talk ugly to people or talk about them to other people. That's what slandering means. When somebody hurts our feelings, we need to be quiet because that's what God is saying. That when somebody hurts our feelings, that we should pray for them and be very careful with our words. All right. Turn to Proverbs 17, 17. This is one of my very favorites. It says, a friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for a time of adversity. Guys, being a good friend means that we're careful with our words. And the reason that we're careful with our words is because we want to love people all the time. We want to love them. We want to love them when things are good, and we want to love them 
when there's adversity. So we want to love them when something might not be going the right way. Being a good friend means being super careful with our words and loving people. All right, our last one on friendship is one that is super important. It's Proverbs 13, 20. Whoever walks with the wise becomes wise, but the companion of fools will suffer harm. Guys, if you're hanging out with people that are not wise, if you're good, good friends, with people who don't make wise choices, who don't choose the right thing, who don't listen to their parents, who might talk back to their teachers, who are always doing the wrong thing, then this proverb tells us that you are a companion of fools. And it says you will suffer harm. You will suffer harm. God wants us to be friends and to have friends that are wise so that they can help us to walk with him and to be wise too. So right now let's pray for our friends and let's pray for ourselves. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much. God, we thank you for our friends. Right now, in my mind, I'm just thinking of all the amazing friends that you have blessed me with. God, we thank you for our siblings. We thank you for our brothers and our sisters who live in our house with us. And God, we pray right now that today you would help us to be careful with our words, to be calm, to not get angry, God, to pray for the people who hurt our feelings. And God, that you would help us not to say things that might hurt feelings. And God, we also pray that you would help us to hang out and be friends with people that are wise, not to be friends with fools, because we know that that will bring us suffering and harm. And all God's children said, amen. All right, guys and girls, we have even more to learn from the book of Proverbs. So I will see you tomorrow.